Hello friends, both old and new, I am John St. Baptiste, and this is Music Makes the People Come Together, where we share amazing and eclectic music with amazing and eclectic people, much like yourselves. This week we are doing a history of music video, and this is one I've been excited about for doing quite some time. Uh, one of my favorite bands of all time is Queen. And they have changed, influenced, and basically conglomerated music so much over the past 50 years. And so we're going to talk about them. Now, they started off with the band Smile. Uh, Smile kind of didn't work out. Frederick Mercury joined with Brian May and Roger Taylor. John Deacon joined not too long after, and they formed Queen, and history was etched in stone after that. So what I've decided to do is feature a track off of each album and share them with you. Some of these are bigger, more popular tracks, and some of them are some really deep cuts. So I'm excited to share all of that with you, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, starting off, we have off of the original album, Queen, which came out in 1973. Keep Yourself Alive. This was written by Brian May. Uh, it's you know, just a really great introductory track to the band and their work. And Brian May, you know, a amazing guitarist. I think one of the most underrated guitarists of all time. B, he's the chair of astrophysics at the Royal Academy of London. And C, he can write a hell of a song. And this is a hell of a song. So I hope you enjoy that. Following that, we have the Fairy Fillers Masterstroke by Freddie Mercury. Uh, this is off their 1974 album, Queen 2. And this is live at the Rainbow in 1974. I like showing live footage when I can. And uh, this is some really good stuff. By the way, keep in mind, there's going to be a little Easter egg at the beginning, and in the middle, and at the end. Next album was Sheer Heart Attack, which came out also in 1974. They were quite prolific back then. And this is In the Lap of the Gods, also written by Freddie Mercury, and this is performed live at Wembley in 1986. This was their last concert. Um, the iconic picture of Freddie Mercury in the yellow jacket, this is where it came from, is this show. And them doing it in the lap of the gods is just absolutely amazing. Uh, if you have any thoughts, ideas, questions, suggestions... Please leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, also down there, that's where you're going to find this playlist. And, uh, you know, let, let me know what you think, please. Please let me know what you think. After that, off of A Night at the Opera, we have Death on Two Legs. This is the best fuck-off track that has ever been written ever in the history of humanity. Uh, it was written by Freddie Mercury. It came off of the 1975 album, as I said, A Night at the Opera. This is a live performance from Earl's Court back in 77. Uh, this was a dedication to their original producer and uh, there there is no better way to say go screw yourself than this track 
no one has ever succeeded it on any level remotely comparable to it. After that, we had A Day at the Races, which came out in 1976. And this is by Brian May. It's Tie Your Mother Down. Uh, kind of self-explanatory. By the way, if you ever get the opportunity, there is a cover that was done of this by Lemmy from Motorhead and Ted Nugent. And it is absolutely awesome. <laughs> But he, the original is absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoy that. And I hope you enjoy this live recording that I found of it. Uh, then we have off of News of the World, which came out in 1977. Spread Your Wings. This was written by John Deacon, who is their bassist. Uh uh, a lot of people don't know, John Deacon wrote some of Queen's most prolific songs. He wrote Another One Bites the Dust. He wrote Dragon Attack. He, he, he wrote some of their most prolific songs. But he was a very quiet person. He just like, sat in the corner and did his thing. But, uh, yeah, Spread Your Wings is an absolutely great song. And I, uh... I, I remember being a very young man. I, I, I think I was a freshman in high school when I, I was introduced to this track. And it kind of showed me an entirely different side of Queen that I would, had not been familiar with. And really enjoy. Because you have to understand, this is the history of music. And Queen changed music so very much because they were one of the first bands who went out there and said, you can do whatever you want. You can play whatever you want. You can make whatever you want. As long as it appeals to people, it's good. No matter how different it sounds from the last thing you put out. And I think that's ex extremely important. Uh, next off of jazz, we have Don't Stop Me Now. Anyone here who has ever seen, uh, oh, what's that zombie film? Shaun of the Dead. Probably has very humorous memories of this, but, oh, it's such a great track. And, uh, also, just a, a very, very, very fun song. Uh, this was written by Freddie Mercury, and it came off the 1978 album, Jazz. Then off the 1980 album, The Game, we have Save Me, written by Brian May, which has to rank not only in probably one of my top five Queen songs of all time, but one of my top 50 songs of all time. Um, it's a great way to end an album. Absolutely amazing way to end an album. So if you've never heard that, or if you've heard it a million times, I hope you enjoy it. Then, from the soundtrack for Flash Gordon, we have The Marriage of Ming and Dale. Uh, this was written by May and Taylor. And this has to be one of my favorite arrangements of The Wedding March that had ever been written. And this is the official video, so it actually has footage from the movie, which is pretty fun. Came out in 1981. The movie, oh my gosh. So a friend of mine bought it and got it for me in uh, high def. And the special effects are so abysmal that in high def they look even worse. But... It's, it's still a campy old good time. Then off of Hot Space, which was an album that a lot of people uh, took a lot of exception to. Because Queen 
tried a lot of different routes. Uh, but we have Under Pressure, which they wrote with David Bowie and recorded with David Bowie. And uh, a lot of people are very familiar with the track, but just in case you're not, I'm quite happy to share that with you. And that came out back in 1982. 1984, Queen put out the works. And for my selection from that, I chose Hammer to Fall, which was written by Brian May. Uh, this track is absolutely great. I love when Queen plays it heavy because they don't often, but when they do, they can, and they do well. And th th this is... Some pretty good hard rock. Then we have Princes of the Universe, written by Freddie Mercury for A Kind of Magic, which was the soundtrack to Highlander. Uh, if you've ever seen the original film, it's on there. And uh, I have very special memories of this track back when I was in uh, college, when I was younger. Uh, my roommate and I would always put this on the jukebox at the uh, at the local bar that we hung out at, and it, it would come on, and you'd have to like stand up and pose. And, Here we are, born to be kings, we're the princes of the universe. It, it, it would be grand fun. And it's it, it's a great song. It, it it's it's a great anthem. I don't know how else to describe it. But uh, yeah, if you've never heard it before, I, I I do hope you enjoy that. After that, off the 1989 album uh, "The Miracle," we have the song "The Miracle." Uh, now this was when Queen started. Uh, uh, crediting their songs as Queen, not by a specific artist, uh, we, which I always like when bands do. Uh, I, 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 because I, I, being a musician myself, I, I feel that everybody contributes to a piece of music, so I like that they've chosen. They had chosen to do that. And uh, this is a great track. And this is when, uh, if you're not familiar, Freddie Mercury knew that he was dying. Uh, this was right after he got his diagnosis that he had AIDS. And still was putting forth some amazing work. And then off the final album, Innuendo, we have The Show Must Go On. Now, there is a, an apocryphal story. The, keep in mind, this is when Freddy was in his very worst health. Sanding on Death's Door. And this is a very powerful vocal piece. And he's like, I'm not sure if I can do this. And then he's like, you know what? Screw that. He lights a cigarette, pours himself a shot of vodka, takes the shot and does it in one take. One take. Now, I can't do these videos in one take. Let alone could I sing like that in one take. But that's how absolutely amazing Freddie Mercury was. And, the, yeah, this is just 
unbelievable to watch. And it's the uh, official video. It has footage from all of their videos from their entire career. And I, I, I love this. Also, if you've ever seen Moulin Rouge, um, they do a pretty amazing version of this. Finally, we have Made in Heaven off of the album Made in Heaven, uh, which came out as a retrospective uh, after Freddie passed. This came out actually in 1995. Freddie Mercury passed in 1991. And uh, this was the last piece of music that Freddie Mercury ever wrote. Absolutely amazing. Now, like I said, uh, on this video, there, on this playlist, there is a an Easter egg at the beginning, the middle, and the end. So, please watch all the way through, and I hope you enjoy those. I'm going to go ahead and do my shout-out for this week. Uh, a new content creator, Amy Blackfire. Uh, she does some amazing historical and religious context to Song of Ice and Fire content. And please check her out because her work is absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments in the description down below. You have no idea how much those comments help. And also, let me know what you'd like to do here. Uh, I try and do one of these history music videos once a month. Otherwise, I just put together playlists that I think you'll enjoy. But if you want to hear more of something, let me know. And as always on Fridays, I do talk and Tolkien. Uh, if you happen to consider yourself a bit of a Tolkien scholar, please hit me up, private message me. All my stuff is in the description down below. All my uh, Twitter and Facebook is down there. So you can hit me up and let me know that you would like to shoot a video with me and we can talk some Tolkien. So I'm going to let you go ahead and enjoy, enjoy the music and in the meantime if you would please be so kind P-O-U-R be excellent to one another and party on